uh, first things first, having good life jackets, making sure your boat is properly in order, a uh, good fire extinguisher um, before you actually hit the lake are critical things in case any incident was to occur. Another thing to consider for boating safety is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is an invisible gas you can't taste, smell, or even see. It, they call it the invisible killer. Extremely dangerous gas uh, that's produced by uh, emissions from a gasoline engine. Uh, sources of CO on your boat may include, of course, the engine, gas generators, cooking ranges, space, and water heaters. Poorly tuned engines can produce more CO, so keep your engine properly maintained as well as installing CO alarms and periodically testing those as well. If you think you've been exposed to CO poisoning, move to fresh air right away. Some of the symptoms of CO poisoning can include just a headache, fatigue, some confusion, dizziness, nausea, or even seizures. Uh, the symptoms can be similar to almost seasickness as well. Another big thing to consider this summer is electrical safety. Uh, Never allow swimming near boat ramps or marinas due to the residual current could flow into the water from the boat or marina's wiring. Another electrical safety tip is only using marine grade cords, never household cords. Uh, and also another thing, knowing where your main breakers are on your boat or on the shore power is also critical to help you respond to any incident that may occur. A lot of marinas have no swimming policies inside the marina. That's because there are electrical hazards within the marina that if something becomes um, uninsulated that it could present electrocution hazards. So make sure that you're not swimming in the areas in and around your boat slips. Also, when you're dealing, if you have a boat that you plug in with shore cables, make sure that those cables are rated for marine use and that you're plugging them into a ground fault, uh, a ground fault plug on both the boat and the power source at the slip. Another area of concern um, when dealing with boats is carbon monoxide, especially your larger boats that have generators. When you have a boat that has a generator, first off you want to make sure that your boat has working carbon monoxide detectors and that they're tested regularly, the batteries are kept maintained because carbon monoxide is one of the, is a very deadly uh, gas that you can't smell, you can't, you won't know that it's present until it's too late. Um, so make sure that your generators are functioning properly your motors are not running and, and building up carbon monoxide if you happen to be anchored out. And make sure that you have functioning carbon monoxide detectors. Hopefully these have pointers to help you have a good summer out on the lake. And of course, anytime you're on or around your boat or near the water, make sure that you have plenty of personal flotation devices and that you're always wearing your life jacket when your boat is underway or when you're in areas which you might not be too, too sure about as far as swimming in water that might be too deep for your skill level. Let's have a safe summer out there and everybody have fun.